Hey guys, so today we will be discussing about the midpoint line drawing algorithm. So this algorithm is used to find a line between two points. Suppose we have a point x0, y0 and we have a point x and y n. So midpoint algorithm will be used to find out the line between these two points. So now let us understand this algorithm step by step. So the step one of this algorithm is first of all we will write the starting coordinates. that is x0 and y0 and then we will write the ending coordinates which are given as xn and yn now we will find out del x and del y so you must be familiar that del x is equal to x2 minus x1 which is given as xn minus x0 and then del y will be come out similarly that is y2 minus y1 is equal to yn minus y0 now let us come to step 2 but before coming to step 2 let us find the slope also that is m m is equal to del y by del x now let us say that m comes out to be positive and m is less than 1 that is value of del x is greater than value of del y as we can see the relation that m is equal to del y by del x now let us come to step 2 now in step 2 we will find the initial decision parameter which is given as d0 or we can also use p but here we will use in d0 we will be using d0 that is del y minus del x by 2 so this is the value of the initial decision parameter when m is positive and m is less than 1 now let us come to step 3 now in step 3 suppose we are at point xk and yk and there are two positions that we can go to that is we can go to xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 and then we can also go to xk plus 1 and yk so these are the two coordinates to which we can go in order to form our line now whether we will go to this coordinate or whether we will go to this coordinate it will be decided by the value of the initial decision parameter now suppose that the value of d0 comes out to be less than 0 this is case 1 now if the value of decision parameter comes out to be less than 0 then d new will be equal to d old plus del y then we will have xk plus 1 as xk and xk plus 1 now keep in mind that these two things are different the xk plus 1 in the sub is in the subscript of xk whereas uh, here we are adding 1 to xk so these are completely different now yk plus 1 value will be equal to yk that is the x coordinate will be incremented by 1 whereas the y coordinate will remain the same so this is the formulas these are the formulas that have to be applied when the value of d0 is less than 0 that is when the value is less than 0 we will go to we will be going to this coordinate now similarly suppose the value of d0 comes out to be greater greater than equal to 0 now in that case our value of d new will be equal to d old d old plus del y minus del x now xk plus 1 will be equal to xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 will be equal to yk plus 1 now again these are these things are different that is this is the uh, subscript and here we are incrementing the xk and yk by 1 so now when d0 is greater than or equal to 0 we will see that both x and y are incremented by 1 is the x and y coordinates are being incremented by 1 and this is the formula being used when d0 is greater than or equal to 0 now keep in mind that d0 that will be used will be uh, d0 over here then again when we will find d new then this uh, d older d new will be used as uh, the d old part you will be able to understand this better when you will practice certain numericals and i will be doing them in my next video now let us come to step number four This was our step 3. Now let us come to step 4. 
now step 4 is nothing but we will just keep repeating repeating step 3 till we reach xn yn or the ending point this ending point and the starting point will be given in the question all we have to do is we have to find the path through which a line uh, we will find the points through which a point line will travel from x naught that is the starting point to the ending point so this is it for this video i hope you, that you were able to understand it and if you were able to understand it just write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that you were able to do it now and do not forget to subscribe our channel as it helps us create more such videos so guys this is it for this one see you in the next one